And now it looks like Molly's handling Holden not being here better than you are. She's faking it. Well, how do you know? Because Holden is stuck in Canada with his ex-wife. Molly may be smiling on the outside, but on the inside she's terrified that he's not going to make it back in time for the wedding. Well, she may be right about that. Well, that that's why we have to stall somehow. No, Carly, it'd be better if we just postpone the wedding. That's not better. That's not better Carly, at all. It could be... Holden and Lily could be stuck in Canada for hours. Hours? But Molly is scheduled to walk down the aisle. I'm... Okay, what, well, what, what are you thinking? Well, just that you can't walk down the aisle if you can't walk at all, right? Carly. I gotta get to work. Carly. Molly is gonna marry Holden Snyder today if it kills me. I will pay you extremely well to fly us to Oakdale. Lady, I just told you I can't do that. But you haven't even heard my offer yet. Of course, there's the cash that you'll get when we land. But until then, this diamond. No, I don't. Lily, that's the diamond that I gave you. Don't do this. This could buy you a pretty big chunk of Saskatchewan. What do you say? Kids, come on down here, please. Oh. <laughs> And still very hungry. When is the wedding? Soon. Would you drive Faith and the kids over to Lakeview? Yeah, sure. When's everyone else coming? Oh, we'll be right behind you, okay? Drive safe. Okay. Well, Luke, the minister's number is somewhere around here. Would you find it and call him and tell him that we're running behind, but we sort of need him on standby? Abigail, would you help Molly and me? We'll get her dressed. Okay? I'm going to grab a snack. Why is everybody just standing around? Because we're all wondering why you're so bossy all of a sudden. What? Well, I'm sorry, Molly, but somebody's got to get this wedding going. Holden is going to be back here. He expects to see you in your beautiful dress and have everything be perfect. So come on. Let's go. Hey. Let's get you dressed, okay? okay? Come on, help us out. Everybody help. Lend a hand. Oh, 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 Carly! Did you trip on the step? I did. Ow. We'll be fine. Oh. Is the pilot aboard the plane? He's clearing his flight plan. Lily, it, you really didn't need to do that. That diamond. Something that I've held on to for too long. I see. Do you? Do you see that I was glad to do it for you? That I needed to do it? To get rid of any reminders of me? Yeah, that's a part of it. Since you're about to put a diamond on Molly's finger, it's about time that I let go, no matter how much it hurts. I'm not quite sure what to say. After all the times you've rescued me, you don't have to say anything. Now go tell that pilot to fire up this engine and let's get you to your wedding. <laughs> No! Um, ow! Ow! Oh, honey. Oh. Well, what do you think we should do? I mean, should we postpone the wedding? No! Forget about the wedding. We need to get No, we're not going to forget about the wedding. You need me to be standing there next to you when you marry Holden. Yeah, but Carly, you can't stand. And you can't walk down the aisle. It's okay. I'll lean on something or someone. We'll work it out. We'll figure it out. Jack, do something. Carly's in pain over here. Yeah, it looks pretty bad from here. Perhaps the doctor should examine her. Me? Yes, you. Reed, come on. Oh, well, no, it looks fine to me. It's not even swelling. Okay, no offense, but you're like a brain surgeon, right? What the heck do you know about ankles? Could, like, could it be broken? Oh, no, no don't even say that. Down. No, there's no way you could possibly know that unless I have an x-ray. Well, we need to get you an x-ray. I'll drive you. No, that's okay. You help Molly get dressed. Uh, Jack, Jack will drive me, right? You, you sure you really want to go to the hospital? Absolutely. Honey... Don't worry about the wedding. The thing is, it might it might take a while, you know? Do so you think you can wait for me? Just just postpone the wedding for just a few hours, right? I'm not getting married without you standing next to me. Don't cause... cancel it. Just wait for me. Sure. We booked the Lakeview all day, and we have to wait for a little anyway. Huh? You know what? I will give a call to the minister. All right, Jack, do you think you can help me out to the car, please? Well, are you sure you don't want me to carry you, darling? That's not necessary, honestly. Oh. Okay. Uh, Molly, go ahead and get dressed.
Yes. If there's any problems with that gown, I'll fix it at the Lakeview. I've got my sewing kit in the car. Harley, don't okay. worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll be there. I promise. Jack, take care of her. Oh, oh I'll try. Oh. I'll do my best. Mission accomplished. Not exactly. I think I really did twist my ankle. It hurts. Oh, my Come here. <laughs> There are no cars here, and I don't hear Ethan and Natalie. Well, if they were here, we would definitely hear them. Well, they're probably over the Lakeview already. Oh, I wanted to see them dressed up before they dove into your wedding cake. You know what? I'll be sure to take plenty of pictures for you. Thanks. Better hurry. All right, thanks for the ride. Listen, uh, be careful. I didn't fly you back to Oakdale to have you wreck your car racing over to the wedding. I'll never forget that you were able to get me here on time. And if there's anything I can ever do to repay you, just, just let me know. Be happy. Good luck. Why aren't you at the wedding? There isn't going to be one, Holden. <laughs>